Well, good morning and welcome back. Uh, my name is Mark and uh, welcome back to our channel. Uh, I'm just in, in the warehouse here getting ready for our next trip uh, starting on Monday and today is Saturday so I'm kind of panicking uh, to get ready here. We are going together with Patty and I are going to Western Mexico and that means uh, from Central Mexico here in Jalisco. Uh, we are traveling to let me try to remember now. We are traveling to Uruapan from Arandas and then traveling to Pátzcuaro, which is a beautiful, beautiful little magic town. We spend our first night there. Then we're going kind of southwards uh, to Sihuatanejo. And that is uh, right on the beach on the uh, Pacific coast, just south of Ixtapa. And then we're traveling further north to Puerto Vallarta, uh, most people know that, but on our way there, uh, we will be going to several uh, private beaches along the way, so that's gonna be really interesting. Um, we know a number of beaches, but uh, we want to discover even more places to visit, so we're gonna spend some time in Puerto Vallarta as well. I always like uh, Puerto Vallarta. It is a little crowded. It's uh, certainly a lot better than Acapulco and in, in my opinion it's uh, a little bit less crowded and a lot of new places to see there as well we're going to tour some islands in Punta Mita um, and then we're going further north to Sayulita which is a great great little beach town I always enjoy going there we're going as far as uh, Mazatlan as far north as Mazatlan and Mazatlan to me is just a perfect perfect spot not overly crowded super super place to visit um, and from there we're going to Durango and what's beautiful between Mazatlan and Durango is actually the ride so we're gonna be taking a GS uh, along the, the trip uh, Patty's gonna be my passenger uh, just the two of us are going so we want to share with you every opportunity we can through this trip and then from Durango we are going to Zacatecas, uh, again, an incredible place in Mexico. And then uh, from Zacatecas, we're going back home to Aranda. So stay with us and join us for the ride. days of travel about 400 kilometers every day uh, trying to stay off the toll roads when we can keep our budget low uh, we'll be staying in simpler hotels as we proceed uh, Patty and I along the western coast uh, of Mexico so stay with us it's gonna be it's gonna be an awesome ride starting on Monday that's uh, two days from now so kind of get ready and start packing our stuff here stay with us Today we're finally beginning our tour of Western Mexico. Patty and I are starting from Arandas, which is slightly northeast from the popular Lake Chapala. The ride is approximately four hours. Taking the toll roads in this area is especially scenic and quite a bit faster. Our destination is Pátzcuaro in the state of Michoacán. We'll be traveling southeast in the direction of Morelia, which is the state's capital. Fortunately for us, today Mexico celebrates Day of the Dead, and Pátzcuaro is known for its elaborate decorations. Uh, some good news and bad news. Uh, we made it to uh, Pátzcuaro. It is, it is uh, Monday, uh, Dia de Muertos, so Day of the Dead here. <laughs> In Mexico and it is extremely busy uh, beautiful beautiful uh, little pueblo here but uh, just a little too crazy actually so most of Mexico is kind of crazy on Day of the Dead holiday 
everybody comes out has a good time all the cemeteries are full uh, the cemeteries are absolutely gorgeous uh, this uh, day a couple of days actually Dia de Muertos is two days November 1st and November 2nd so Monday and Tuesday of this week uh, was was kind of difficult on the motorcycle to be honest uh, a lot of traffic and uh, I hate uh, riding slow on, on motorcycles but nonetheless it was a really good experience uh, to be here. Glad to be here, weather's good. Uh, it was raining a little bit earlier, but uh, it, uh, we escaped it, so. Uh, pretty amazing place. Uh, check this out. cemetery on the evening of uh, Day of the Dead. I was going to tell you that this is a solemn place, but with the uh, banda music playing in the background, you probably won't believe me. Uh, but it is definitely surreal here in uh, Potsquato. Uh, very, very famous for uh, Day of the Dead celebrations, and uh, I hope you can see basically a million or millions of candles here lit tonight uh, in the cemetery in remembrance of uh, adults uh, passed away and uh, tomorrow I believe is uh, in remembrance of uh, children that have passed away so what a blessing to be here in Pascuaro on uh, Day of the Dead to uh, celebrate with literally thousands of people here that have come to uh, remember their loved ones. So it is, for me, definitely uh, a solemn place and uh, very surreal to be here. Bring, brings out a lot of emotions uh, just walking through the different, uh, well, the different caskets and uh, throughout the whole cemetery and, and seeing all the people here. 
that uh, thankfully remember all the loved ones that have passed away uh, before us. So kind of a reminder of our priorities, isn't it? So a blessing to be here and I hope uh, I hope you get a lot out of this uh, video as well. So stay with us.